cities are centers for growth. If they're not growing, the economy is not going to grow. But if they're not growing in an inclusive way, we will also not reduce inequality. Inequality and exclusion is manifested very well in our city spaces in terms of our spatial forms, uh, where people are located, you know, according to race uh, and far distant areas. Uh, so if we can reduce that inequality in that space and accelerate growth, then I think as National Treasury will achieve our objective because then we'll have more revenue that will also enable us to reach out more in terms of the needs uh, of the society from the fiscals. The CSP was designed as a, a program to help support metropolitan municipalities to focus on and accelerate their drive for inclusive urban economic growth and to uh, more effectively manage the urbanization of our uh, process in our country towards that end. CSP is a reform agenda program that has made a tremendous impact in the manner in which first the National Treasury engages with metros and also in the manner in which the cities themselves are able to articulate as a platform at a national level through the budget process, through the reforms that are being introduced, the changes, and also just elevating the role of metros, the cities, and particularly the urban agenda in the, in the national space within the country. The CSP evolved as a response to looking at city-specific needs in our intergovernmental system and develop a program that would support them to be able to grow and uh, become the engines of growth for our economy. So I think that's where the value of the CSP comes in, is to say, Jan can approach us and say, I've got this challenge, no? can you go have a look? Or can you meet up with the city and also unlock that for us? To have a sustainable transformation program um, defined by what the city support program is about, our cities needed to be well governed. So this became an important enabling and foundational set of uh, expectations that we would want our cities to be able to ensure that they have in order to be able to bring about the spatial transformation program that will uh, bring about greater economic prosperity and inclusivity. One of the key challenges that uh, the metros are facing is the issue of informality and the growth in the, of informal settlements you know, in, the, in the city where people don't have access to basic services. The problems that are related to insecurity of uh, a tenure, high you know, crime rates you know, in those areas, that render the cities to be unstable and at the same time uh, not to be contributing towards inclusive, you know, economic growth, you know, towards the, the cities. While we have a reasonably well urbanized country, so uh, comparing to many other countries in sub-Saharan Africa, for instance, we are fairly well urbanized. We haven't been uh, gaining the benefits of urbanization as much as we should. Public transport works with other built environment tools, levers such as land, financing, housing, etc. 
in order to drive the change. So it's one of many tools within our, uh, within our toolbox to drive change. So sustainability and the ability of cities to respond effectively to climate change is a, is a core and transversal component of the city support program. Climate uh, issues, climate risks are a major threat to the ability of cities to deliver their services um, and to generate inclusive economic growth, but at the same time the spatial form of cities and the apartheid legacy is a very fundamental and unsustainable driver um, that contributes towards climate change. So, so it's inherently interwoven into the, the sort of central objective that the CSP works towards, which is inclusive economic growth, reduction of poverty and inequality. This is not unique to South Africa. Government doesn't really know how to engage the private sector in a productive way. There are not many places who've got this right. Um, some have, but it would have been nice back in the 90s if we had said, hmm, we, if we're going to promote the economy, we should be talking to economic agents, and that would include big business and small business and labor and whoever. How do we do that? And if we had learned how to do that, our approach might have been completely different. But instead, what we did as municipalities, we set up these completely redundant small business desks. But notice what the production process is. You, you're sitting at a laptop and you're, you're researching and you're writing and you're conceptualizing and you're designing. None of that involves any engagement with anyone. I think the key value um, in the first phase of the CSP has been the clear focus on sp spatial transformation. I often describe spatial transformation as one of the strategic silver bullets because it speaks to issues of um, productive city, it speaks to aspects of the sustainable city, and it speaks to um, aspects of the inclusive city. I think there's a, a number of issues that we've been able to, to raise uh, and give voice to what cities need and our ability to engage both at the, the city level to unblock some of the challenges through technical support, etc., but also to engage at a national level with the various other national sector departments and to try and unblock some of the, the financial issues and the policy issues there that would be able to support the development agenda in the municipalities. If you take a focus on something in particular and you really work through it, you're able to find joint solutions. It's about teaching each other, learning from each other and moving forward together. Uh, 
And the role of the university, it seems to me, in this is to hear, know, document, critique, respond, partner with something like the City Support Programme to ensure that there is a sound evidence base, that there is a documented record, um, and that we learn, um, and that our students learn, and that future professionals learn about how we might run cities in South Africa very much better in decades to come. I think it is a significant moment uh, that we're in now. I think it's a moment of reflection uh, and a desire for quite rapid shifts in, in, in policy and we're very well positioned as, let's call it, an urban policy community of which the CSP has been uh, part to, to be able to use this moment to, to advance critical changes that are required for, for the better management of, of urban growth in South Africa.